This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Salem Platinum Edition, model number 27RE. Okay, this is not a floor plan, it's more of a how to video, so I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? So, this right here is to, to fill your fresh water tank. Let's say you're the most common way to get water to the trailer, obviously, is through the city water hookup. If you're camping someplace that doesn't have city water, you can pre-fill this tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. So I'll show you where the switch is when we get inside. Um, but that's to fill the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. Now, you have these uh, quick drop jacks. You just don't have to crank them all the way. They drop into place, then you tighten them up. Uh, power awning, two power awnings. Uh, with LED strips. Okay, you have outside speakers. Here we have a uh, storage up here. This thing on the top here is your uh, with the actuator is your is your bed mechanism for the the bed that uh, changes positions. Uh, these are your uh, uh, cranks. That's a three quarter. But now this crank right here, the smaller one is for uh, your power tongue jack in case it was to fail if it ever fails for any reason you can always pull this plug put the crank on there and you can crank it manually to get yourself in, in or out of trouble let's say uh or whatever you can always get hitched or unhitched no matter what so it's a it's a good feature to have you have uh your tanks were put on along with your regulator it's a 30 pound tanks now with your regulator on there uh you have a deep cycle marine battery uh, this is the the uh, battery kill switch that disconnects so you can shut your battery off if you need to. This has on-demand hot water, so I'll show you the controls in this on the inside. But this is your on-demand water heater. You get a non-stop flow of hot water. This is your furnace outlet here, of course. You have a 30 amp power cord. We give you a reducer to reduce it down. You have your city water hookup here. Um, remember I showed you there's the port to fill the water tank if you don't have city water where you're camping. But this is where the city water would go. And this one is your black tank flush. Black tank flush is uh, after you dump your black tank. The black tank, of course, is, uh, is um, toilet water and waste. And then you have the gray, which is sink and shower water. So after you dump the black, you leave the valve open. You have to leave the valve open. You hook the hose on there, turn it on, uh, and it'll, it'll clean out the inside of your black tank. It'll spray off the sensor so you get a good accurate reading, that sort of thing. So, But the thing, thing is, like it says on this sticker, keep the, keep, keep the valve open. These are just cable and satellite through here, just two coax. Okay? This is the, the vent for the range hood. Just remember if you're venting to the outside using the fan in the range hood, you always want this baffle open. You just reach up with your finger, your thumb, and snap it open. This is camp, camp, campground cable through. Okay, you have, uh, it's pre-wired for backup camera if you want to add a Furan backup camera kit. It's also pre-hooked, it's got a hookup for a Lippert telescoping ladder. That's another option if you want to add that. While we're looking up, you should, manufacturer says every 90 days you should inspect the roof, look at the cracking, or look at the sealant, I mean, see if there's any cracking or separation. Make sure that no uh, roofing attachments or roofing material will damage by, uh, let's say, low branches, uh, road debris flying up there, anything like that, okay? That should be part of your regular maintenance, because you can't, you can't see what's happening up there, obviously, unless you go up there and look. So we're still sweeping up in here, so there's some dirt and brooms and things but I have to get this done so here we are at the control panel uh, your water pump I told you about you turn it on right there that's for pumping out of the fresh water tank when you don't have city water it's also used for to winterize the trailer you've got lights there your slide room your uh, one slide room is here and an awning and then the other awning and slide room is here and here so Two, two slide rooms, two awnings. This is your dimmer. You just rub your thumb over it to make it work. That's all you do. Okay, so this is your solar controller. 
right now when it comes around we'll see that 75 degrees Fahrenheit 13.7 volts and 1.9 amps are you're gaining from the Sun so your system was over 13 volts and um, this one coming around again 1.9 amps are being sent to your battery for storage um, it's an overclass day uh, so and it's uh, early so you, you know it's just it depends on the weather conditions outside the angle of the Sun to the trailer all that stuff are factors in how much you'll gain you can gain seven amps you know more or more for example uh, but right now like I said you were getting I think it was what one 1.9 1.8 okay very simple this is for your water on-demand water heater now this will only work it'll only turn on if there is water let's say you're you've got the city water hooked up or you're you have water in your fresh water tank and the pump is on you have to have those one of those two conditions and then you have to call for the water meaning turning on a faucet Otherwise, if you don't do that, um, that's pretty common. One points, but anyway, uh, 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 it will not work unless there's water available and you call for it. Otherwise, um, if you try to just turn it on without those conditions being present, it won't do anything. So, it's just a safety safety device that way. That is to set your temperature there, of course. Um, you can switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, that sort of thing. Okay. Very simple. Let me work past the stuff here that they're working on. This is a new thermostat, new style thermostat. You set the temperatures by turning the knob and then you select. Right now we're running the heat, right? So you'll push it in and turn it to select the when you want heat, fan, air conditioning, whatever you want. And then you select that and set the temperature, whatever. It's, it's all real simple. This is telling us that this is pre wired for this King Connect. Uh, um, public Wi-Fi booster basically it consists of a uh, if you were to purchase it it consists of a antenna that goes on the roof and then a, a router box uh, it just gives you a better public Wi-Fi signal or, so if you're interested go to kingconnect.com and look at their pre-wired uh, kits okay alrighty so your refrigerator is a, a 12 volt let me get over here 12 volt DC refrigerator and freezer Okay, microwave is, works like any other microwave. Your range hood, remember I showed you about the vent on the outside, you want that baffle open if you're using it. So there's your fan, and there's your light. Uh, the range, you open it up here obviously. Um, then you got three, three knobs for the three burners, and this is your sparker, you turn it clockwise. This one is oven, I'll just show you how it sparks here, very simple, that's all you have to worry about. Okay, very simple. You also have lights here, um, oven light and ambient, ambient light, ambient light, whatever. Take whatever one you want. It's a multiple choice. <laughs> okay, um, this is just telling you about that ladder, that Lippert ladder that they got at pre, I don't know what you call it, pre-mount for it. But you can scan that and if you want to look at it more. Okay, your TV here this is uh this is your sound bar uh, so basically you can stream off USB it has FM radio no AM just FM you have Bluetooth so you can stream from your family's wire or tablets or or uh, phones whatever uh, it has an HDMI in if you want to go into the system with let's say a portable blu-ray player or something you can go into the system with that you have two speaker zones one and two uh, one is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. And they just got it on, apparently it's rotating through the colors right now, but you, you can set it all. There are, uh, let's see, where would you, let me guess where you put the uh, remotes here. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um, it's right here. Nope, I don't see them. Look up here. No. Anyway, the remotes are here. Absolutely. Um, so you have a remote, remote for your TV, obviously, for your sound bar and for your fireplace. I'm going to shut the fireplace off right now. It's a really good space heater. It's kicking out the heat right now. It's really hot. So, okay. Um, your secret compartment, your storage, whatever you want to call it, back here. 
Now you can, this is on right now, but you, there's a motion light setting or in an off setting. You want it off, obviously, or motion light to where it'll kick on if it senses somebody open it and take a look inside, you know. So keep that in mind. You don't want it just running all the time. Okay. All right, so your couch is a jackknife, so a jackknife's flat. You can turn that into a bed. You got two, uh, two uh, recliners. Your, um, your, uh, uh, <laughs> your um, dinette, you can drop this tabletop down onto the cleats here and use the cushions and fill, them, fill in the space, turn it into a place to sleep if you need to. This is your, your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green. If it's not green, get it serviced immediately. It's very important, of course. Um, the keys are normally hanging here. I don't see them yet, but I'll make sure they're here. Okay, so we'll go to the bathroom next. You have a, a um, shower and sink work like any other sink and shower. Remember there's a GFCI here. All the plugs in the trailer, whether they are physically a GFCI or not, are still wired through one of the GFCIs in the trailer, so keep that in mind. Of course, with your, uh, you have a flush pedal here. Uh, so what you do is you, you hook up your power and your water when you get to the campground. You put a dose of chemical in the bowl, then you'll stand on the pedal and wait till a gallon of water or more goes into the black tank below with the chemical then it's ready to be used till you, till you dump it. After you dump it you can obviously before you use it again put a gallon of water and chemical in there. If you use it dry it'll smell terrible and it'll get clogged up so you gotta have chemical and water in there. Alrighty. So this is your bed and this is the switch for it. You also have a backing plate so you can put a bounty bracket for a TV. There, this, yeah, this green light or green LED should always be on. I can shut it off, but it should be on it telling us that the digital antenna is turned on, the booster for it, so keep that in mind. Um, you have an emergency window here, which is self-explanatory escape window. You have a, a, a really nice sized closet for a travel trailer. And, uh, you have some storage bins right here, of course. Now this is the power converter right here. This converts um, AC to DC power. So when you're plugged in, you have 110 AC on this side. You've got circuit breakers like you see at home, 110 AC, and they're all labeled. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC over here, and you got 12 volt fuses, and they're all labeled. All right. Then it's also a battery tender, so it's going to sense how much energy your battery up on the tongue needs and it'll always send it, as long as you're plugged in, it's going to send enough amps to keep it charged all the time. So when you're pulling down the road, your tow vehicle's alternator will charge the battery. When you're plugged into shore power, your power converter here will charge the battery, and your solar panel charges it all the time, depending on the conditions outside. So it'll always be sending, sending um, amps to the battery. Uh, sometimes it'll, it'll send a, a bunch of them, sometimes it'll just be a trickle, depending on the conditions outside. Okay, so let me look around a bit here. Okay, I think that covers it. Always travel with this shot, of course. Okay, okay. so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please remember what I said about inspecting the roof. That's very important. It should be part of your regular maintenance. Um, and uh, you don't have to worry about bypassing your water heater or... or anything like that when you're winterizing and dewinterizing because you have on demand there's no water tank so you're all set there so um, when you come to pick up we'll uh, you can talk to us and we can I, I'm told we're going to remove your steps at some point so um, we'll take care of the rest of it when you get here okay thank you